Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another day of the video darling. Yes it is the morning, it's the morning of the next morning and hello. What? How is it going today? Today I kind of freaked up my alarms now. You'll notice that I've added a new feature up here. It's my old loud alarm clock. Hello mister. I slept in this morning until, um, what time did I sleep in to? I slept in until 10, which is stupid. My alarm went off at 7 and I just blatantly just fat faced ignored it essentially. Um, I remember turning it off. <laughs> this isn't particularly useful. Um, so yeah, this morning I was going through my um, report and my um, uh, my report for the integrated project, which is the group coursework that we have to do, and my um, what was it? Gantt chart. I've been doing it all day. Uh, the Gantt chart for the project, which is going was going relatively well back then. It's now finished, so we're all happy and lovely and diddly with that. Um, but yeah, this morning then I had some soup and some toast and then headed off to university in the friggin' rain. It was it was actually fine until like halfway through the day, in which case it poured it down. And it was horrendous rain. It was terrible. Um, but yeah, I got to campus. We did computer graphics, which is insanely hard. I'm going to have to email the guy and say like, look, dude, slow the hell down, man. It's just so ridiculously fast. I don't understand shit all that's happening in the lectures. Literally nothing. And his lecture slides mean like nothing to me, so I'm gonna have to email him. I'm gonna have to take one for the team and email him, which is gonna drive me insane. Blurry. So yeah, otherwise though, uh, we then had a programming lecture, which we finished up on a learning uh, C now in lectures. So which means we're moving on to Lisp tomorrow. Dun dun dun. Which is relatively terrifying, actually. I'm not sure I'd like to learn Lisp. Really, it's a bit. I don't really. I could live without it. It's also the thing that we're getting coursework in, so our coursework is going to be on that. So yeah, otherwise though, I went to a graphics lab for two hours and then uh, headed on back home. Halfway through the graphics lab though, I suddenly became horrendously hungry uh, because I hadn't had a breakfast and a lunch, I just had a uh, lunch. Um, so obviously my eating thing has worked, hasn't it? <laughs> I now like have to have three meals a day, otherwise I literally have to run to the nearest place to buy food. And unfortunately, I wanted crepes because there's this place on campus that does crepes, and I wanted them. They were closed. They closed by the time I got there, and I was like, no. So I had a cold pasty, and it was horrible. First world problems. But yeah, I sorted out some graphic stuff. My graphics thing is starting to stress me out. Um, I'm not sure how much work I've got to do on it, and I'm not sure how long I've got to do that work for in order to do it. I'm not sure how hard it's going to be. A lot of people are saying it's hard, and I'm like, is it hard? I can't see it being, but it looks hard. So. Um, yeah, so I'm stressing out about, about that. I was going to do an all night tonight, but I'm clearly not in the mood for it. I need to go to bed um, so I can be up early in the morning tomorrow. Um, God damn it. But um, yeah, otherwise, though, got home and then I kind of, got, kind of went in like a bit of a stress mode because of work and stuff. But I, that's why I've got my headphones out because I blasted music on my headphones because they were watching TV next door and I wanted to blast music. Um, so I uh, put my headphones on and shit. And then had a bit of a blast out and stuff because things have been stressing me out recently and I can't be doing with the stress and I can't be doing with people. Uh, I can't be doing with people telling me what to do and stuff and I'm like, God damn it. I'm just trying to thingy. Then I was like, I was trying to cook and then dad rung me for like 20 minutes. I'm like, it's an unnecessary amount of time to talk to me. We've already discussed the fact that I'm fine. <laughs> you just leave me alone. Um, and then I would practice a bit of flute. Um, practice a little bit of flute before I... Um, while I was cooking, I put my put my pie in my pie in oven, and um, practiced a bit of flute before going in and like finishing off like the last bits because obviously you're just whacking it on the your pie. Um, and I'm going through and it's really hard to practice because like normally when I practice things, I'm like part of a three part like flute choir or like a solo, in which case you know the rhythm, you know like the beat, you can listen to the melody and stuff. But when you play of an orchestra, it's just like an entire there's an entire like 20 million parts other than your own so you're like i can't even like listen back to it you're like i can't even hear the flute in this god damn it and i've like, got no idea what's going on but yeah otherwise i made my first ever like serious edit to daily vlogs um because i took down yesterday's video and re-uploaded it with a chunk of it missing out because i realized i didn't realize anything differently i didn't like just, like succumb to pressure and in my opinion of it on the matter changes no more I just feel that if that situation, for those of you who have seen it, if that situation would have arose and arisen between me and Lovely, would I have put the same, would I have put it up? No. Would I have done it for anyone else? I was livid. But likewise, 
it's for me to be livid about, not for you guys to be livid about. It's not for something for me to share with you, kind of thing. So yeah, I'm sorry if you didn't get to see it. <laughs> Everyone else kind of has a bit of a secret on you. But um, yeah, uh, otherwise, that's about all, really. I've been churning through my friggin' Gantt chart, and if you look at these beasts, oh my friggin' god. Here it is, what a beast, what an absolute beast. Look at that monster. Um, right, okay, then basically then, this is turn one, um, which it shows this is everything we've done so far. The 22nd today is uh, uh, hand in the proposal, which is what we're doing. We've literally just finished the document. Well, technically, emails. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Uh, technically, um, we haven't quite handed it in. It's gonna be handed in tomorrow. Um, but uh, we've got the finalised document and stuff, it's just ready to upload now. Um, but you'll see here, da -da 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 -da, the official hand-in deadline is the 8th. But we're dominating that so that we can come down here and then start the next section early, which I hand is the 10th, and we're aiming to dominate that a week early as well. Um, basically, this is entirely designed around slip and making it as like manoeuvrable as possible, based around the coursework and stuff. If graphics coursework came now, and we'd still hadn't planned it. This week, I intend to do nothing but graphics, essentially. So if we hadn't have like beasted this as soon as possible, we'd have been a bit screwed because we'd have to leave it till the last week and stuff. So everything is designed to have a level of slip involved. Here, oh, da -da 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 -da, here, this is this. This is being given a week to make it look official on the um, Gantt chart, but it actually won't be given a week. It'll be like 10 seconds flat. Just make it up on the spot, lol. But it looks official there, so that technically doesn't even exist. So we've got like two weeks worth of slip here. We then jump into, so this basically can be ignored um, because that'll literally take about a day maximum and it's given a week. You can then jump onto all of these things and then we finish by this time here. Um, again, a week and a bit, just over a week short of the final deadline. We then move into this section here, which is uh, our second semester. Um, and it's basically, you'll see, it's basically the exact same. We've got a starter thing here, then it's just repeat, 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 repeat. Um, and essentially, we can just stop here. If we finish the project by the time we finish here, then we can just lift all of this stuff up, move it up there, extend it out a bit, give ourselves some more slip. This section here is a load of slip there. There's a couple of, there's a bit of slip there as well. Yeah, there's a slip everywhere. It's basically, it's designed to be as, as doable as possible, this project. And I'm pretty friggin' proud of myself. Um, yeah, half of these can just be deleted just at any point. It's like, oh crap, okay, delete. You know, nothing happens, nothing is a matter, nothing goes wrong if we do or we have to at any point. So, I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm pretty proud of myself, I am. Yeah. Or, if the worst comes to the worst and it gets to the end one, it's like, okay, bam, emergency meeting, finish, get into it. And then you can start the rest bit. So that's like our emergency buffer. But at any point, we could just finish here. We could do. The problem is we're designing a plan for something that I don't even know what the project is. Like, I know what we want to do, but I don't know the exact requirements. I don't know how exactly long it's going to take us to do each and every single thing. So, I'm just guessing. But yeah, so I think it's a pretty damn good guess. I'm proud of our beast mode Gantt chart writing the skills. Uh, otherwise, though, I then had a phone call conversation with Lovely. Had a bit of a catch up, which was lovely. Um, uh, yeah, and it's raining. Hit the rain. Heading gently onto my conservatory, and yeah, so that's that's about all for today, really. Tomorrow I've got to get up early in the morning. We're going to have a meeting with these guys, discuss the entire document, which I've compiled into one great big document for them because I'm nice. I've also uh, put it all in, and the font I've used used because I'm a beast. Boost is um, good old, absolutely beautiful Ubuntu because it's a beast. It's the best. It's just. It's just the best, you know. Um, upload a revision of it. We'll create it into a PDF file as well. Just look at how nice that looks. Yeah, meet with them guys and our gap programming and then a programming lecture and then back here, eat some food um, and then program all day basically. I'm just gonna be sitting here, beast mode, single screen Linux, programming. That is my day tomorrow. It's going to be a party in the goddamn park. So thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you later.